Hey, what's up guys? My name is Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny video and in today's video we are going to be discussing the possibilities of esports in Destiny. So during Twitter yesterday and the day before that there has been massive massive talk about Activision buying MLG. So this is a major major move, pardon the pun there for Major League Gaming, but this is a massive move for Activision in general and it is a really really good deal for 46 million buying one of the biggest competitive platforms for just 46 million it sounds like a lot of money but in terms of companies this is a really really good buy for Activision here but as you know Activision like to throw their money about and they like to buy anything that's in competition with them and also ruin a lot of things but from this I'm guessing that they can actually fix a lot of problems and make a lot of good things rise from many games that they have actually invested in and created themselves and this is why I think it's a possibility that esports could be coming to Destiny so today's video I'm going to be discussing a few ways to make that possible and to implement something competitive into Destiny which is a game based on getting different levels of loot and crazy different amount of variables in the loot that you actually acquire during this game. So for a long time of course Destiny esports has been in high demand and a lot of people have been guessing or thinking about which game modes could actually go into this and here's a few that I think perfectly fit the esports scene. So we've obviously got Trials of Osiris which is based around elimination and elimination is a 3v3 game mode where if you kill someone they can't respawn unless revived. The objective objective is to take all three out of the enemy team and that is when you win you can obviously revive and that is how you carry on playing the game it goes on for a few rounds and it's obviously a very competitive game mode that only comes once every month I believe the other game mode that I was thinking is control well control is essentially just a different name for domination with flags so what you do is you have to capture flags through that you can just constantly get defense and attacks and just be aggressive or defensive and every time you get a kill near a flag then obviously you're just pushing forward towards that ultimate goal exactly like domination except it's not just relying on the time that you have a flag the last game mode that I want to put forward that would work for destiny esports would be rift so this is essentially uplink for call of duty of course I know I like to compare a lot of things to call of duty because it's mainly the only other FPS that I've highly invested time in and rift you have to get the rift or the satellite over to the other side of the map the enemy side of the map and you have to place it in or smash it in you can also kill people by doing it and stuff it's really cool animation what you do and that is how you get the point you carry it from the middle of the map to the enemy side of the map and destroy the rift and that is a point for your team and it's really really fun in fact it's something that could make esports really really enjoyable to watch in terms of a different style of fps game but how do you exactly balance all of these different variables of loot as i mentioned and that is possibly with 280 light weapons so if you don't know and you've never heard of destiny before you're just watching this video to get a bit more insight on what destiny could be then there's different levels of light for each weapon and that is what rounds up the level of your character so what I'm saying is every single gun should be 280 light and auto scout rifles pulse rifles sidearm snipers shotguns rocket launchers and even machine guns should all be in different classes so there should be different specifically named guns there shouldn't be so many hundreds and hundreds of guns it should just be about 10 assault rifles 10 machine guns 10 rocket launchers 10 snipers 10 shotguns stuff like that stuff to balance it out and they should all be common rarities they shouldn't be different things with special perks they should just be basic weapons with different kind of playstyles for your character now subclasses are a big thing in destiny and got all these sort of superpowers like specialists that you can use and they they can get you a lot of kills and they can change a lot of the game mode for you very very quickly so how could you possibly put these in the game you simply set up your class maybe simplify the subclasses a bit so there's not so much craziness going on but it'd be really cool to see stuff like the different grenades and dodges and techniques and methods of escaping gunfights still being in the game. So the last thing that would obviously have to be put into this would be the private lobbies. They just have to be included. It's as simple as that. If you're going to want to practice these competitive tournaments or anything along the lines, you're going to need private lobbies to obviously practice. So that's just my input on it, that you're going to need some competitive private lobbies to play with your friends, get some practice, go on different websites to play against other fire teams. But I just think 3v3 is a bit low because you're going to have teams that are going to want to go into control and especially in control and rift if you're not going to be wanting to go from a six-man team to then having to drop three players from your team to go on to a elimination. But that's just my opinion on this entire situation, guys. I'm excited to see what Activision actually do with MLG, but at the same time, a bit curious and on the edge of what's actually going to happen from now on. So, guys, if you want to see more videos like this and you agree with my points on Destiny Esports, then be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this on your social media for more Destiny tips, tricks, news, and updates in the community. My name's been Erupt, and have a great day.